The far side of the moon, perpetually obscured from Eris's view, presents a unique environment ripe for scientific exploration. Its surface is characterized by vast plains of solidified lava, which average 300 km in diameter and cover approximately 65% of its surface area. These plains are interspected with mountains sculpted over billions of years by meteorite impacts reaching heights exceeding 9 kilometers. Craters, some measuring over 1000 kilometers in diameter, punctuate the lunar landscape. Some contain fragmented material, revealing remnants of the Moon's dynamic past. This environment is particularly advantageous for seismological studies due to its lack of interference from Earth's gravitational influence. Seismic activity, both internal and external, can be observed with greater clarity. Over 15,000 moonquakes have been recorded by lunar seismic stations within American Apollo missions, revealing a surprisingly complex core estimated to have a radius approximately 350 kilometers. This core is primarily composed of iron and nickel. Gravitational interaction between Earth and Moon governs tides on both celestial bodies. This tug of war generates tidal forces that exert external stress on the Moon and drive the rhythmic rise and fall on Earth's oceans. However, the far side experiences weaker tidal forces due to its greater distance from Earth, resulting in a measurable variation in lunar surface height over time. This, pheno this phenomenon is measured by laser ranging experiments, utilizing highly precise laser to determine the distance between Earth and retro reflectors placed on the Moon's surface with an accuracy of millimeters. Analysis of lunar rocks and soil samples collected from the far side provide invaluable information about the earlier solar system. These materials contain trace elements such as uranium, thorium and potassium. The 
isotopic ratio of these elements allows scientists to estimate the Moon's age, which is approximately 4.5 billion years. coinciding of other terrestrial planets in the inner solar system. The far side's unique position offers an optimal platform for advanced astronomical observations. Shielded from Earth-based radio interference, it provides a clear view of faint signals from distant galaxies and quasars. This silent observer allows astronomers to detect cosmic microwave background radiation with high sensitivity, contributing to our understanding of the universe's origin and evolution. Advanced Radio Telescope operates on the far side, designed to capture ultra-low frequency radio waves from deep space with unprecedented clarity using phased array of antennas. The LART operates in a frequency range inaccessible from Earth due to atmospheric interference, providing astronomers with a unique window into the early universe and enabling observations of phenomena like pulsars and fast radio bursts.